So you made it through the first episode, Winter, A Year in the Life of Gilmore Girls. Congratulations! Just know that there is a lot more to come. So before I even begin talking about winter or about anything, I just want to say a quick three things just quickly. So first of all, there will be a review on my channel for each individual episode. So you will have winter, spring, summer, and fall. So I will do four separate videos for all four of the seasons and I will strictly only talk about those four seasons in, and I will strictly only talk about those four episodes in each, you know, review. So I'll talk about winter in this one, obviously like that. So rest assured that I will be reviewing each one. And if you want me to do a final wrap up of the whole thing, let me know. I'd be more than happy to do so. Number two, obviously do not watch any of these if you have not watched the episode unless you want to be spoiled. So obviously I'm going to be spoiling the mess out of winter, but I will not be spoiling spring and summer. I've already watched them, but you may have not. So I will be only talking about winter in this video. So you know, there will be lots of spoilers in each one of these reviews. I'll be talking about each episode just to throw that Let's out there. Let's just get right on into it. Let's begin with winter. So Winter. Winter was not my favorite of the four episodes, but it wasn't my least favorite. So we begin with winter. I'd say winter is more of a culmination of just, you know, easing us back into this world of Stars Hollow. We can't just throw ourselves back in. We need to catch up with people. We need to see people again. Obviously, this is just a big game of catch up, winter is. And I think I did a good job at that, but I view winter as an opening. You know, you have to open up and you have to ease people back in. And I think it did a great, but you know, it's just, you know, and it, you have to ease your way back in. So I thought that's what winter was. And I did enjoy it. Like, Let's just catch up. So we have Lorelai still working at the inn. And the big thing is Rory has moved out of her Brooklyn apartment and now she's kind of living this vagabond life. You know, she has boxes at her mom. She has boxes at Lane. She has boxes at her grandparents. She has boxes everywhere. She's just, you know, going with the flow wherever her writing takes her. And we're learning that her career is not ending up the way that she wanted to. She's not really exactly happy. Also with that, we have, you know, Lorelai at the end. We realize that Suki's been gone for a couple years. She is working on a farm now. She is doing things. We all knew Suki would be in this but I think we all kind of knew that she um, was not around. She's not going to be in every episode. She probably just had one scene. So, you know, Winter was not the one. I didn't expect Winter to be the one that she was going to be in. But we learned, you know, that the Dragonfly Inn's doing the same. The dinners aren't going so great. She's having a lot of, you know, different chefs come in, trying things out. So it was going to be all over the place. I just kind of try to go with the time flow, but just forgive me. Just trying to go with each scene and talking about it. Okay, so then we have Kirk. Kirk has facial hair. Kirk looks great. Kirk is my favorite townie. I so Rory has a new boyfriend now named so I forgot a huge thing. Rory has a boyfriend now named Paul and he's just like everyone forgets about Paul. Rory forgets about Paul, which why you would have a boyfriend that you forget about constantly. Why would you have him? I felt like what what? Like that was just so odd. I was like Rory Rory. Rory. But, well, there's much more to come with Rory. Much more. But Paul... What? 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 That was just a very bizarre thing. <laughs> Sean Gunn is an amazing actor. I think he's just witty and he's amazing as Kirk. And the whole fact of him making Uber up and having a pet, having a pig with the name Petal is just, it's Kirk. And I think he really put himself right back in Kirk's role. And I didn't feel any sort of dynamic shift with Kirk. I felt it was just Kirk. And I'm just catching up with Kirk 10 years later. And he was just great. And we have the amazing Kelly Bishop, which by the way, can I just say, I hope I look as good as Kelly Bishop when I get that age because wow that woman looks amazing like flawless beautiful like she's amazing and just so you know with this whole winter thing we have a um introduction of Richard Gilmore's death which we all knew because the actor died and it was very very sad winter was a very sad episode just because we focused a lot on Richard's passing and it was just sad like I said so we get to see a flashback of the funeral which was very very sad especially when I saw the picture of Richard and Lore of Richard and Emily and then he had his Chuck Berry album and his Leave of Grass and just the tears have already started flowing. I can't count how many times I've cried in this freaking revival. It's been a lot guys. It's been a lot. Funeral was just so so sad and then Digger. Digger's at the funeral and I was like if anybody was here I would not want Digger. Digger is my one of my least favorite characters. Out of my top two least favorite characters, he's the second. I do not like Digger. He is the worst. I just, you know, whatever. He was on the on the screen for like two minutes. I was like, I'll oh, put him in two minutes to somebody else because I don't like him, but oh well. I guess we'll give him that. Then we have the big painting scene where we see that, you know, there's a huge painting. We learned that's a mistake. We all kind of saw that in the preview, so I'm not going to talk about that much. We have that whole fight between Lorelai and Emily where Lorelai really doesn't have a really fond memory on the spot to just think of a Richard. And that really hurt Emily. And, you know, I don't, you know, Emily doesn't, I think, understand that she 
that Lorelai and Richard have had such a strained relationship and it's just been very strained. So we have that. That's a big culmination leading up in this whole series of that whole funeral thing, which is very, very sad. And the fact that Lorelai said what she did, I was like, oh, I was hoping for so much more. But you can't force somebody to say something like that. That was just, you know, that was a, that was a hard thing to watch because I was just feeling all the cringe-worthy feelings during that. And I was like, oh, this is, this, 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 this is not going so well. Let me fast forward to Paris because Luke and Lorelai are thinking, or Lorelai mostly is thinking about maybe she wants to have a surrogate, maybe she wants to go to a fertility clinic, and Paris owns a fertility cl clinic, which I never would have guessed. I never would have thought Paris had been a fertility clinic. I always thought she was going to be this top of the notch surgeon. And I'm not saying that owning a fertility clinic is bad because I love her for that. Like, my love for Paris Geller is freaking real, but it's even realer now because she owns a fertility clinic because. I have been to those. I have to go to those because of I have problems. So just seeing that, I was just like, oh, Paris. And she is just amazing. Paris Gallery is just, oh, my everything. She is just amazing in this role. I'm sure she's great on How to Get Away with Murder. I don't watch that, sadly. But I know she's just amazing as Paris Geller and the fact that she has these high-profile clients and she's trying to really sell them and, like, really make the surrogacy thing thing. And Luke's very unsure about it. He really doesn't want a kid. And I don't think even Lorelai, she just doesn't want... So with about this whole freaking... So not the whole winter, like I said, just an introduction to Luke and Lorelai's, you know, struggles that they've been having. And, you know, I think one of them is Lorelai may realize that she's been forcing a lot of decisions on Luke. Like, we're going to live in this house and we're going to keep our family separate and we're going to do this. And her realizing that maybe that she doesn't want to do that. So she maybe thinks that Luke is missing out on things. So she maybe wants to have a kid because he may want a kid. And, you know, Luke is struggling with things, too. So we're really opening up a huge dynamic between Luke and Lorelai. You know, we know they have had problems as many as all couples do really so that's a this you know winter is a great introduction so yeah they're thinking about having a baby luke is very unsure about it i think lorelei is very unsure about it well and then we flash forward to rory and logan which i was happy for like a minute or two i was i'm not gonna lie to you my inner fangirl scream because i am team logan i am but then we learn that they're having a Vegas relationship where you know what happens in vegas stays in vegas so you know when they're together they're together when they're not they don't talk to each other about it, and I'm just like, didn't we, didn't we, didn't we try this once, guys, in college? It never got so great. Did we do that? Yeah, we did. Yeah, I'm not happy. Like all these years of growth with Logan just flew straight out of the window. Like they're gone. I was like, Logan, I did not like you at first, but then you made me love you, and now I'm like, I don't like you anymore. Like, what the heck is going on? Like, why, why? 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 So we learn that they are in an open relationship, and yeah, I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy with that at all. But I still have hopes for Logan. I still have hopes for Logan, which I'll talk about more in future episodes. Stay tuned. Um, but yeah, I just oh my goodness. And then we learn about Paris some more. We learn that Paris and Doyle have split, and they have two kids. And I'm like, Paris and Doyle split. They were perfect for each other. I'm just oh, I'm so sad about that. I'm so sad about that. But that Paris has kids. I never thought she would ever have kids, and she has two kids. Like. Who would have thought that? Um, then, I'm sorry, I'm going all over the place. Well, then we have another scene where um, they're at Lane's house. We get to see Lane and Hep Alien form together again. It was great. And let me just say, Zach, Zach's looking a little bit worse for the wear. Like, a lot of these people on this show, like, I'm like, have you aged at all? Like, what magical potion are you freaking drinking to look like that? Because let me score some of that because I'm going to stockpile it up. But Zach, Zach did not have any of that magical potion. He... He aged and that happens, but looking so great. Like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I'm not because I don't like Zach. Zach is my least favorite character on the show. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't like Zach. But I'm not sorry, I just so, uh, yeah. But I like the fact that Hep Bailing was there and they were great and you know, we saw, we got to see Steve and Quan, we got to see Lane's kids and I thought they were great. And it was just a, mu a beautiful like reunion of Hep Alien, which we love. I just Oh, I love them. So I think that's all I wrote for winter. Surprisingly, I didn't write too much more. I'd say winter was pretty decent. If I can give it a rating out of five, I get a three and a half out of five. It was pretty good. I feel like winter was the, you know, intro to everything. We have to set the stage up for a lot of things. We have to set up, you know, Luke and Lorelai's, you know, problems that they're going to have. We have to set up the stage for Emily becoming a widow. And she's never really had to do that before, obviously, because, you know, half of her is gone. She's been married for 50 years. That's that's amazing and that's a very long time so she's got to learn how to do that and we have Rory really struggling with her jobs and obviously with her love life can't get that crap together apparently um so we have all these things of not going as planned you know everybody's life is kind of just 
a big question mark with everything, especially Rory's. I say Rory's life is the ultimate question mark because she doesn't know what she's doing in her career, her love life. Just she's just not very certain about things, you know. Um, in the end, we have Emily, you know, Lorelai trying to really persuade Emily to go see a therapist, and she agrees. And you're like, yay, they can go see a therapist. But then Emily, you know, kind of coerces Lorelai to go see a therapist with her, a therapist with her. And then we're like, oh, ooh, this is going to be very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. So that's the end of winter. We have the, you know, going to the therapist thing in the next um, season, which is spring. And yeah, overall, like I said, I liked winter. I kind of wanted more from it. Big build up. You know, it has to build up all of these Stars Hollows things. But I will say, I love things like the town troubadour, Gypsy. We got to see Taylor. We got to see all of our old friends back again. And it was amazing. And I'm very, very happy that it, I think that this is staying true to the show. And of course, the filming's kind of different, the acting's kind of different because people have grown, sets have changed. Oh, but overall, they're keeping the heart of the show. And that's all you can really ask is when they keep the heart of the show because Amy had very strong ideas of what the show should be. And so I trusted her completely. And I think she did an amazing job with Winter. Like I said, it was a, it's a setting up the stage for the play. You know, I feel like that's what Winter is really, but that's not to say I didn't enjoy it. I did enjoy it, but like I said, it's setting up the stage. So if I've watched Winter, let me know what you thought down below. Are you feeling some of things I'm feeling? Are you feeling like it's a big intro? Are you kind of worried about Luke and Lorelai? Like what is going on in your head? Please let me know. And be sure to check out my other videos because I will be filming hopefully all of them right now so I can give you all of my opinions. So let me know what you thought. Be sure to check out my other Gilmore Girls video which I'll leave in my outro and cards up here and links down there below because you guys know I love some Gilmore Girls. It is like my lifeblood. Literally. It really is. So let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on winter. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Now I'll see you in the next one. Bye.